so take your seats we're ready to go we're auntie donna yeah that's for sure a comedy group that's made of four we do skits bits and parody too but first let us say good day to you it's me mark i love to dance a bit and if you make me upset i'll hit you in the tit i'm an italian man bonjour no to you i'll cook something nice like spaghetti for two a little dash of this and a sprinkle of spice leaves people saying mark you're not very good at cooking Jeez, this is with terrible. some regular guy although i did want to be a lady for a while i love kicking footy hanging with mates gee i'd love a frothy mm, that'd be great hey bro yeah you know what we forgot to um i'm sorry can we help you Hi guys, my name is Paul. Have you guys ever played paintball? Cause I've got a d So it's time for us to introduce our third member. He's a bit of a goose. He's got long black hair that's a little bit frayed and it also seems he's a tad delayed. Oh my God, is that a plane? No, it's the one, it's the only Zach Wade. Whoa! Very sad. So dudes, there's just one more to introduce and that makes us four. As two or three, we'd be crap, but we're never gonna have to ever deal with that. So let's bring him on, gee, that'd be great. I'm filled with loathing and self-hate. He's the hot one that makes the girls go, ooh. And don't forget, he's the funniest. So funny, he'll blow your cranium. So let's welcome to the show, it's, it's Adrian. Adrian. Yay! Yay! Adrian. Yeah, telegram. Oh, thank, oh you. thank you. Oh, fuck! Hey, Patsy! Hey, Auntie Donna, my favourite client. Hey, <laughs> Favourite manager. Yeah, I better be your only manager or I'll rip your f***ing legs off. Okay. Anyway, anybody for a chalky mop ball? Here you go. Get amongst it. Get them up, yeah? I've got big plans for you lot. Mm. TV show, picture shows, glossy man. Oh. <laughs> Uh, that's really great, Patsy. But there is You're something the best we... act I've got left on my books, you know that? I love you, boys. Oh. Oh. Oh, Patsy, that's very sweet. Um, however, we... Uh... So where's the fourth one at? Where's the good-looking one? Where's Adrian, hmm? Patsy, we got some bad news. What do you mean he quit? He got a gig hosting Getaway. Go away. But he's the only reason why anyone ever books you. No, he's not. He's the only one that wrote any sketches. Uh, I do that card trick. The one you f*** up all the time. That's the one. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Patsy, your temper. Oh. Even I can write better gags than you lot. You want to hear a gag I wrote? God, no. Here you go. Please don't. What do you call three f***? What? You call it Patsy, that is very, very racist. Get that up, ya comedy! That's what gets you on Good Morning Australia with Bert Newton. Patsy, that show's been off the air for like... In the meantime, you better figure out what you're going to do for that f***ing gig tonight. Sorry, what gig? You're doing a set at a comedy room tonight. And you're not pulling out. Patsy's clients do not pull out. And you think I've got five kids? I don't let anyone pull out. Ever. Patsy, I, I checked our emails this morning and there was no reference to a gig. That's because I faxed it. You faxed it? To where? To you, f How do you like that? Patsy, I'm sorry, but we've just lost a member. You're going to have to understand that we can't... No, you're going to have to understand. It's my reputation on the line. Because if you don't do that gig tonight, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to bang your heads together. Then I'm going to suck <laughs> fucking <laughs> heads cave in. So you have a good hard think about it. Without Adrian, we are stuffed. Adrian was the sporty spice to our spice girls, the most important and delicious spice. Croden, come on, we can't split. Sketch comedy is the biggest growth sector in Australian entertainment. Well, that and print media. Do you honestly think we can do this without him? I think so, yeah. I mean, why not? We could write sketches about anything, like off the top of my head, uh, uh, the Spice Girls. And I just thought of that then. Spice up your life, Broden. Spice up a love. Shut up, you stupid egg. Whoa, whoa. Broden, Mark is not stupid, and I am 80% sure he is not an egg. Ah, forget it. Maybe Broden's right, Zach. Wait, you mean you are an egg? No, I'm not an egg, Zach. I'm talking about the fact that maybe it's over for Auntie Donna. Of course you're not an egg. That's what I've been saying. I've met many eggs in my time, at nightclubs, parties, and not one of them have had a beard. Without the four, Auntie Donna is done. But you guys are the only friends I've ever had. Oh, we're only talking about the comedy group, Zach. I love and respect you. I will always be your friend. Oh, do you want to hang out tomorrow? I'm busy, fuckface. So are we doing this gig tonight? No gig tonight. No gig ever. But Patsy said we had to do the gig. Oh, Patsy, Patsy, Patsy. I'm oh, Patsy, Patsy, Patsy. A pat, beep, 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 beep. Patsy can suck a Sam. <gasps> yeah, and you can suck a Sam. And hey, Mark. Yes? Guess what? What? You can suck a Sam. No. You can both suck Sam because I am done with this group. Suck a Sam. So it's all over then? No, Zach. No, it's not over. We can become anything we want now. The world is our oyster. We could become hell, I don't know, sushi chefs or, off the top of my head, spice girl. Oh, spice girl, I call it. It's like he said it once and now it's, ah, it's in my head. I want you to both know that I regret nothing. I still maintain you should both go suck a sap, but I just went to the counter and they don't split bills. Oh. OK, well, uh, let's see what we got here. We got the two lattes. Um, I had the smoked salmon and quinoa salad. Oh, hello, fancy man. Yeah. Oh, haven't you done well? Oh, I think I've done very well. Fancy man with his quinoa salad now. Oh, I feel so fancy. Ooh, fancy Ooh. man with the fancy fancy. Well, aren't Ooh. you the big fancy pants indeed? Well, haven't we done well, boyos? We have come to nearly uh, three million Australian dollars. That's one million dollars each! Oh, well then, let's see. That's one dollar, twenty cents, one dollar seventy, two dollars, four dollars. What does that come to? That comes to five dollars and seventy cents. Well, 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 nearly three million short. Uh, no! Stop right there, you fluffy-faced little man. I may have just a few more in my pocket. Here we go. Oh, well, now that you mention it, I have a few coins left in my trousers. No, the trousers are gone. Well, it's diamonds. Yeah, oh. Diamonds for all. Oh, how about some doubloons? Oh, yes. I believe I have some in my shoe. Five dollars. Wait, oh. boys, I have a little bit of money in my hat. There we go. For you. I've got 18 rubles from my penis pocket. Ah! Ah! Pay the bill, boys. Time to pay the bill. Stop talking for a moment. And the threepence to boot. Oh, we're still so short. Ah! Mark, you're laying an egg. Yes. Ah! Oh. I laid an egg of gold. Oh, hooray. Hooray. Gold, is it, boys? Hello! Oh, lucky one for gold! <laughs> Digging can be fun, especially with your friends. I got gold fever! And syphilis! I got some gold anyway. I'm just doing this to have fun with my friends. Keep digging, I wonder what we're going to hear Oh! Oh, well, gosh darn! We struck oil! Oh, you like that? <laughs> Now piss off! Would you mind emptying 
the dishwasher? Mom! My comedy group just broke up! I'm running away! I'm never doing the dishwasher again! I'm gonna find myself! Not do the dishwasher! No, I know it's not your turn this week, but your sister's at camp. Oh, my sister's a bitch! <laughs> Quiche for dinner. What kind of quiche? Cheese and bacon. Yes! Yes! Dear Mark and Zach, you big assholes. Not being in a comedy group with you two anymore is the best decision I've ever made. There's nothing in the whole wide world that would make me want to perform with you ever again. Ha 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 Sin. Oh, wait, huh? Why don't you grab me another flat white, you big dick face? Broden? Broden Kelly? Oh, my God! How are you? Well, how do you think I am, person who I haven't quite looked at... Oh, my God. You remember me, right? Tara Morris, Montague College, 2002 through 2007. Hey, Tara, I was wondering, will you go to the Year 10 formal with me? Sorry, Brayden, I'm already going with Math Bastuka. God, I'm so sorry. I'm such an idiot. I don't even know why I asked. I hate myself. Jesus Christ. No, sorry, I don't remember you. Did you just wear a hat? I don't... So you're doing comedy now? Auntie Donna, is that right? Well, it's it's sketch comedy. It's cool little plays and clever dances, but that's besides... Why... Shut up. I love sketch comedy. Oh, yeah. Cool, baby. I love people who follow their dreams. It takes guts. Oh, well, you got to do what you got to do. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm a sketch comedian. You know, it's just so lovely seeing you so happy, especially considering how hard high school was for you. High school wasn't hard for me. I had a great time. People pissing in your locker every day. Who pissed in my locker? Great, we can talk about it now, though. But I was the drama captain. You know, those boys from high school, they're like such losers now. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's not me, baby. I'm a successful comedian now, and my comedy group is still together. You're doing a show tonight, aren't you? No, I'm not. But there's a poster that says you're doing a show tonight. That's right, I remember now. But you're probably busy, hey? No. Oh, great. Do you mind if I come along? No, I would not mind. Cheeky babe. Great, sounds fun. And I probably don't need to say this, um, but just to be clear, I have no romantic feelings towards you. I just want to see your show. Hey. Nothing sexual from my end. I'm reading between the lines. Yeah, I'm being very clear here from the outset. OK, thank you. I've got to go. Yeah. Uh, I'll see you tonight at your comedy gig, which you didn't cancel, because yeah. you're still together. Bye. With every member of your comedy group. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, shit. Hello to you. My name is Broden Kelly. You know, I... in Japanese we say konnichiwa. Uh, 
Tony, could you please? Uh... Thank you. Shia Masai, Rodan Kelly's son. Mark, Buncho Banano. You always did have a way with a Masamoto. <laughs> How long has it been? 20, 30 years? How was this morning? Uh, really? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Are you hungry, Broden Kelly's son? No, Mark. We need to talk. I am on the brink of discovering a new way. Sometimes. Hiya! See, sometimes I say hiya to the sushi. Hiya! Mark, I've done some soul searching. I think we should do this gig tonight. And what of this Snapchat you sent me ten minutes ago? Um, I, I... It is okay, Broden Kelly, son. I know I've been difficult to deal with in the past before, short-tempered, impulsive, but I've let go of that now. I've found serenity in the sashimi. Mark, I came here to say I'm a sorry man. Here. No, Mark, I... Try this. I... No, I'm not a hungry man. I really couldn't have... I'm a sushi man now. I've taken a wife and bore a child. Or just some daisuke. Chikako, ushisan no men do metekai karu. Fine, Mark. I didn't want to have to do this, but you've left me no option. Marco, this is your replacement in Auntie Donna. Ha! I will not be played, Broden Kelly, son. You can do the card trick you could never pull off. Ace of spades, queen of hearts. Although that may have angered me in the past, I am now calm, like the koi pond. Marco, do the bit. Hi, I'm an Italian man, buongiorno. That's my bitch, you sneaky, slimy son of a bitch! Ha <laughs> ha, it's good to have you back, right? Shut your ham hole, let's get Zack. I have entered the wild. I have tamed many beasts, eaten many of their young, and overcome several infections of the arsehole. I know now that I can be anything I want. I can be, hell, I don't know, a, a children's entertainer. Well, obviously not that, but... <laughs> Hello there, boys and girls. My name is Zach, and today we're going on a big old learning adventure. We're going to go on a journey through time and through space. We're going to learn all about cowboys and their best friends, Native Americans. And then we're going to learn all about buckets. It's... Oh! oh. Ah. <laughs> is that a real-life dinosaur? Oh, I don't know, am I? It is. It's a real life Velociraptor. What's your name, Mr. Velociraptor? Hey, Zach, my name's Mark, and this week I've been learning all about the dinosaur. Oh, Mark, the dinosaur? <laughs> you know what I feel? I feel a bit of a song coming on. Oh, well, so do I. Here we go. I'm a Velociraptor with a hat. A wag my tail around like a cat. I run around on big muscly legs And I hang up my washing with wooden pegs Well, hello there, my Jesus, is he hallucinating? He's fine, let's go. He's fine, let's go. Yeah, so, right, okay. You know when you're walking down to the shops? Right? <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I was like, what about me? <laughs> well, we can't compete with that. Maybe we should call it a night. Or maybe one of you could drop me off at the nearest hospital. No, Zach, we have to do this. And not for personal reasons, or not for ulterior motives, but because we... Sorry to interrupt. Hey, bro. Oh, hey, baby. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tara. I went to school with Broden. He said it would be cool if I came and saw you guys tonight. Oh! 
wait to see you guys perform. I love sketch comedy. Oh, OK! <laughs> hey, babe, we've got to get ready for the show, but I'll see you after, OK? OK, <laughs> good luck, friend. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you teeny, tiny, frisky son of a bitch! You dragged me here just to chat up some two-bit day? No, it's not like that. Hey, I might try to make myself vomit, OK? I give up my life as a sushi man, and Zach well, he could have been molested by any number of Australia's native fauna, like the duck-billed platypus. But he didn't get to be molested by the duck-billed platypus. Did he, Broden? There's still time. No, there's not. Let's go, Zach. Go. Try and find a zoo or something. Guys, what? Where do you think you three are going? Ideally somewhere with a stomach pump. Shut your yaps and listen up. You three stop bickering. Pull yourselves together and do this godforsaken show, or I'll... Well, I don't have to tell you what I'll do. I'm gonna oh. shove it in a little martini glass. Hmm? Showtime! So, guys, I'm really excited to do this set. What sketches are we gonna do? Adrian was in every sketch. None of them work without him. Yum! Except for one. Ma! We can't do that! You put a done on, Ma! Maybe in the past. But my time as a sushi man has taught me many things. Patience, focus, salmon goes off if not refrigerated. Uh, I'd love to sit around all night, guys. It seemed like a great crowd, but uh, coming up next, we've got, uh, we got a sketch show. So, um, yeah, so uh, we'll see how this goes, eh? Guys, I can do this. All right, Mom. Let's go. Get out there. Na, na, Put on our dancing shoes. Give them the na, best na, 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 ever. Give it up for uh, Auntie Donna.
show. Take your seats, it's ready to go. We're Auntie Donna, don't you see? A comedy group that's made of three. We do skits, 